five best core exercises. These are some of the core exercises that we predominantly do with all of our athletes, regardless of the sport that you do. The first exercise that we're going to do is what we call a dead bug. A dead bug is gonna be on your, on your back, legs straight into the air, arms straight into the air, and from here, we're going to alternate our arms and legs. So from here, we're gonna have our right arm going down to the ground, and our left leg simultaneously going down to the ground at the same time. So it look just like this. For anyone starting off, I would suggest doing about three sets of 10 each arm or each side. This exercise is really good for teaching core coordination as well as anti-rotation stability. Again, if these are too hard or too difficult for you, you can regress them with just using your arms or just your legs, similar to looking like this. If it's just our arms, the arms move. If it's just our legs, the legs move. These are regressions towards the dead bug position. The next exercise that we're going to be doing is a bird dog. So it's the same as our dead bug position, but now we're on our hands and knees. From here, we're gonna alternate right arm and left leg, reaching out. Start pretending we're trying to punch and reach for that front side or the wall that's our net in front of me and taking our back leg, trying to kick the back wall, trying to get as long as possible, back down to the start position, alternating inside. For these as well, you can regress them just the same as you did with the dead bugs, either just doing your arms, or your legs. Again, about three sets of 10, either arms or legs, or three sets of 10, simultaneously moving your arms and legs. A third exercise is a side plank with a reach. With a side plank position, what we wanna do is have our feet stacked on top of each other, but instead of having right on top, we're gonna to go top leg in front, bottom leg on behind, with our toe to heel position just like so, so that the middle portion of where our toe and heel meet will be in line with our hip, shoulder, and elbow. Our elbow is going to be placed underneath our shoulder, and then we're going to balance on two points, which is just our feet and our arm. We're gonna pick our hips up, and we're gonna hold, and this is our start position, with our arm reaching up towards the ceiling. With the reach through, we're gonna take our arm, we're gonna come down underneath, rotating on our arm that's on the ground, reaching it through, right back up. Reach through, right back up. For this exercise, I would again suggest about three sets of 12 reps each side. Another one of our top core exercises that we do here at Zone Sports Academy is our chops and lifts pattern. From here, this is a tall kneeling start. We can then progress or regress these to any position. If we were to progress these, we would either bring one leg up, or if we were to regress them, we would sit down right onto our butt, just like so. Again, we're gonna show you tall kneeling lifts. We're gonna take our J-bands. You can hook them up to any direction as long as they're within our torso, within our torso. We're gonna take a overhand grip. We're gonna start right here with the bands at our hips. We're gonna pull it up to our chest, and then we're gonna turn our torso and then push away. Bring it right back down to the middle and down to our start position. The purpose of this is to teach our torso to rotate first before our arms. So we like to incrementally and segmentally create rotation so that we can be a little bit more efficient with rotation. Again, it'll start from here right at the hip, pull it up to the, up to the chest, turn our torso, and then press away once we face the opposite side direction, right back to the middle. Again, to the chest, turn, and then press. For this exercise, I would again recommend three sets of 12 each side. Good, the next exercise is very similar to the lift pattern we just did. This time it is a chopping pattern. Again, this time instead of having the bands in line with our torso, we're gonna have the bands lined up over our head in the kneeling position. We're gonna again start 
Again, with here, with hands on the J-bands, above our shoulders, the same pattern, but now we're reversing it. Again, trying to work on efficient rotation through the torso. From here, we're gonna pull to our chest, turn away, and then chop down. Back to the chest, and back away. Again, to the chest, and push it down. Again, the goal of this is to teach efficient rotation, regardless if we are lifting up or pushing down. Again, that our torso does move within 360 degrees that we want to utilize when we create rotation, either if we're hitting, we're pitching, we're throwing from the outfield, or throwing across our body from the middle infield. Again, this exercise, I would recommend three sets of 12 each side.